Hey everyone, while I'm waiting for the most awaited announcement from Team Blue, Intel Art GPU, I did some testing and played some emulators on this 12600K CPU with just using the dedicated GPU, the UHD 770. I managed to run a decent and playable FPS on some of the available emulators out there. I'm really surprised on how it performed well. So today, it will be a slightly longer video. I'll be featuring some games and emulators in the video. Without further ado, let's get started. Hello, my name is Fredo and you're watching Project Edging. Oh, <laughs> 
Not equally. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes. You still here? Still here, Marcus. Tell Dom I may have a lead on his wife, but it doesn't look... Overall, the performance of the GPU is decent enough with some emulators and games. The temperature is mostly peaking in our PCS3 and Yuzu, since it's a CPU and GPU hungry program. I had some problem playing and booting games in Senya, and I guess with a dedicated GPU it will able to boot more games in the future. The rest of the emulators are in average temperature sitting at the 60% GPU and CPU usage. At the same time, picking 99% with heavy 3D games. We also had some good performance with PCSX2 and CMU. It is pretty impressive. I was able to run at stable 60 FPS on some games, running in 2 to 3x resolution with some frame drops here and there. PPSSPP, Citra, and Dolphin are super easy to run. Some few tweaks and adjustments 
and I'm almost playing at 60 FPS at most. It was a great machine for some low-end emulators. If you plan to play RPCX3 or Yuzu, I would suggest getting a low-profile GPU is best. So that's wrap up the video. If you have anything you want for me to review or test, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a good game everyone. Peace.